Hi, this is Alec Basella with this week's Dodge You Now. Late last week, a trophy suburban office complex known as Chagrin Highlands 1 and 2 transferred. The fact that it transferred isn't as surprising. Pretty nice buildings, great location, well leased, obviously strong investment market that we're in right now. But what did surprise me a little bit was the transfer price. Two buildings total 234,000 square feet, price was $24 million. So on the surface, it doesn't seem like too bad of a price, a little bit over $100 a square foot, $102 a square foot. But again, these are two primely located, high quality suburban office buildings. And the fact that they're transferring for just over 100 bucks a foot is a little troubling to me. I'd like to peel back the onions just a little bit to figure out what was going on there, and you know I will. So speaking of interesting pricing, the fact that the reason that I'm as surprised as I am at the transfer price is to replicate those buildings. Those buildings are a little less than 20 years old. So to replicate those buildings in that location today, it would be three times that easy. You'd probably be looking at somewhere around $300 a foot all in. So the fact that they transferred for a third of that, again, is a little surprising to me. Speaking of replacement costs, you may be wondering, where's Dodge you know today? Well, a few weeks ago, I was, out, I was at the St. James Fish Fry. Today, I am upstairs in St. James Church, in the main part of the church. All religion aside, this is a fantastic structure. And speaking of replacement costs, as you can kind of see as I walk around, panning around behind me, I don't even know what the replacement costs on this structure would be. The structure was built in the 1920s, and it's just fantastic architecture, fabulous building material. I mean, just absolutely incredible. I can't even imagine what it would cost to replicate a structure like this today. So, and I'm also going to let you in on a little secret. This column right here, as you can see, big column. This is known as Porta Santa Marble. And legend goes, when St. James was built in the early 20s, the marble came in, most of it was quarried in upstate New York and some of it down through Appalachia, but some of it was brought over from Italy. And legend goes, when this particular marble, this Porta Santa Marble was brought in, it was in dusty, old wood encased crates. And again, this was shipped from Italy. So, legend has it that this marble is over 2,000 years old from the time of Christ, Porta Santa, and that's what it means, the gates of Christ. So, this marble is allegedly over 2,000 years old. So, as you know, certainly hopes that I'm around 2,000 years from now, but we all know, simply dust in the wind. All right, so that is this week's Dodge You Know. Hope everyone out there has a wonderful weekend and certainly a profitable week ahead.